Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today we're going to delve into Wild Format. That's right, Wild Format in the Saviors of Ulduin expansion is pretty interesting. I didn't quite think so, but a few crazy combos, a few deck re recommendations by my friends led me to the format, and it actually is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't use like an overwhelming amount of the new cards, but there's majority of the decks out there are using some of them, and it's typically cards that you don't see in the standard format, and they actually really shine in the wild format. So it's kind of a cool way to experience the corners of Saviors of Uldum that you haven't yet seen. And I'd bring this to you guys today through Reno Lock, the old one, the original Reno Lock, not Reno Mage, it's Reno Warlock. Singleton Control deck is stronger than ever thanks to some pretty unlikely inclusions. And today you guys get to see it in all its glory. So check it out. Deck code is below, and we'll see you guys later. Darkest Hour Warlock deck. Does have a bunch of chargers or something? Would you play Zephyr's Wild Growth? Zephyr's Wild Growth. From three mana to five mana. I don't know what mages have. Like saving it for secret removal? <laughs> Screw that. Wild growth time, boys. Oh, the 1010 reborn guy. Interesting. Alright, maybe we'll try that. I've been giving the. I've been giving the 30 legendary archetype a pretty low priority. Well, that looks fun. Let's do that. Oh. Wonder if it's the same thing. Zeddy just told me I go to Wild to get away from Luna's Pocket Galaxy. My first game in Wild. Turn 4 Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Interesting. Second game. The first game that went past turn 0. You've been galaxied once this week in wild. Okay. Well, let's see. Maybe I can still win this. Really? Very interesting. So, would you copy Nazoth here? I mean, he just polyed. Even if he runs double poly, it's very unlikely as both of them. Alright. Now, would we Gorgonzola the merchant now for even more value? Alright. Now, when this dies, we got eight cards, so let's just play this. Specimen. Ooh, multiple Nazoths. <laughs> okay. I have nothing good to play, so let's dump one of those. I wonder if I should wait for Brian. Nah. Let's go. Let's get some more healing.
came. One for all and all for me. Your soul is mine. Your wish is mine. Your chest. Precision. Perfection. Primitive. guys like that play pretty happy with it i don't like playing nazoth on a master chest though should have played around it i guess oh. we must band together united for dalaran But that's not his card. Mm. This is pretty bad. Too bad I don't have like a four health thing. Yeah, I cannot clear here. No. Trust me. Yeah, Zephyr does not give Shadow Madness. Like, like he just doesn't. So what do we kill? One man of faceless and his Cadgar. Okay. Wow, it's very lucky. Also very lucky. Yeah, his shit already costs nothing. So. Well, my Karut defender got polymorphed, so Nazoth doesn't bring back very much. I guess I get a Death Lord. File, huh? Uh, lots of missing pieces. I suppose I just have to do it. At last, a worthy disciple. Chest. Well, yeah. I'm just about dead, so. healing, that's good. At last, a worthy disciple. Wanna bite? Ah! Wanna bite? can stop the chain here. I can actually stop it even more aggressively. As you command. 
I wanted to defile clear, but I also wanted to... I want to stop it from dealing too much damage to my dudes. Double Death Lord. I will take that. Oh my god. I'm almost out of cards. No, nope, no cards left. Definitely not. Oh, there you go. It's a hunter secret. See what you can do, bro. Checkmate. Well done. Oh, just one with 30 health against turn four galaxy. Easy game. Let's keep the defile. Imagine if you're playing that with Teth Shenanigans and stuff, you can win this. In Wild, they have like Vanish as board clears. That's a pretty big difference from the norm. I'll give it another turn. No, I don't miss meat. The rogue could have won if you traded with the healthiest giant. Oh, that's possible. From the I come. To the void. No, don't. It's still good. Side effects. No. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that, so this is how we're going to do it. Two cooldowns. So easy, man. So easy. I did it. I think I'm going to go for a power mill turn. Pretty good reason to this. He kills it, he's not gonna sap it. If it just dies, well, that's perfect. So many options. Nothing, damn. Nah, that was not so perfect. I was hoping to hit just anything, really. Even a generated card would have been quite convenient. Too good to not do so. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Yes, so sweet. You wish 
Wishes by Suggest. No, Jaraxxus. Dude, we got two Gul'dans! What do you mean, Jaraxxus? Screw Jaraxxus. Trifling vegan, yeah. I know. Big sad. I know, I know. But it had to be done. Yeah, we'll do a good old Blood Reaver. Oh, crap. It's kind of terrifying. If we do Blood Reaver and the taunt gets sapped, we die. So that's pretty bad. Must destroy. Oh, you have four taunts. Oh, yeah! Okay. Whoops. Should have done this last turn. Oh well. How much is this worth? To you? Oh, I'll do it right after this one. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> Alright, what is that? Plus 19 effective health if you count the taunt. Nice. Okay, so he gets his huffer again. Oh, never mind. Was that, uh, was that intentional? I don't know. Seemed pretty crappy. Rank 15? Well, started playing wild tonight, basically. Gotta start last time you left off was like three months ago. You gotta start at the bottom. Good on the taunts there. I dream and the world trembles. Oh, I think we have a lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. Three. Uh, okay, that's still lethal, but now it's exact.
All right. 